Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I have not played this game since March 7th. Here we go. There's any buttons. Our vault suit customization creation is free for a limited time. Wow. Visit Bethesda.net for all the details. He's not from the Creation Club. So I have not played this game since March 7th, 2020. Well, that's virtual workshop. No, that's not it. Oh, here we are. Vault suit customization. Make it your own. 100% off. Buy now. Behind every vault suit is a number, and every number is a story. Craft a jumpsuit to suit your story by choosing from a variety of different color and number uh, combinations. Okay. So I could theoretically... Yeah. Well, I mean, look, any color other than blue and yellow is just wrong. But the numbers, the numbers, that does uh, let you have a lot of possibilities. Okay. So we have that now. That's a little bit of a side note. Well, let's talk about March 7th. It's, right now it is July 14th. A lot has happened since then. I mean, I believe it was... March 7th was one day after the first case of COVID was found in Pennsylvania. It was six days before the schools closed. It was 12 days before all non-essential businesses were shut down. And I'm not sure exactly when we went. Let's see. When did we go to green? It was like the end of June, wasn't it? Well, my county was one of the last ones to go. Yeah, June 26th. So it wasn't until June 26th that we actually could get haircuts again. I mean, it's been a very, very strange section of time here where you go to the store and then you come home and, huh? For the longest time, you like, you take your clothes off and leave them in the hamper because you didn't know what you were walking over or picking up on the bottom of your pants. Gotta remember how to play. Okay, let's let's head to the Boston Airport first. As you know, what I'm trying to do now is walk across. No, I didn't want to... No, I didn't want to fast travel. I want to set a marker. You don't even know what I'm doing right now. But I mean, there is this element where you have to wear a mask every time you go outside. You're you're washing and gargling with salt water, and well, not washing with salt water. I guess you could wash with salt water, but gargling with uh, salt water to make sure there's no coronavirus in your throat, and you're washing your hands frequently. You come in from outside. It was for the, for the longest while. It's a little bit. A little bit less tense now, but in the first couple months to go outside, this was not what I wanted to do. I'm literally going to reload. That was not the rules I'm following. Um, you go outside, and it's it's like you're coming in from like a radiation zone because it's like, well, let's go wash ourselves, take a shower, wash the clothes. And someone they they asked uh, they asked uh, Levine if that was a good idea. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea. That's that's not a, not a bad thing, uh, you know. So I, I'm not you know now that I'm it's deeper into the summer and you're wearing shorts. Somehow it feels less important because you're not, you know, the cuffs of your pants aren't dragging along where everybody has walked and coughed and all this other kind of stuff. Plus, I mean the cases are down. So. There's a, I'm so used to going to, to escape to go to map in GTA.
place marker. That's what we want. Um, let's see, did we grab the water? That's kind of a key thing. Lost track of how many blisters I have. Yeah, you need blisters. We know that. What's up? Do we have any water in here? No. Mm, do don't much care for good. Aid. Purified water, 384. Yeah. That place is nothing but trouble. Okay. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. So now we're going to try and start walking here, and we'll be talking and walking a little bit. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost something. And interesting side note on all of that. When you're kind of living yeah. this, this very alternate way of living. Like we're not I, I'm not used to having to wear a mask every time I walk outside. I'm not used to having, you know, well now I am. Whoa, what was that? A little bit of we're getting some lag here? Well, probably from that. Whoa, it's all freaking out. Okay, let's look at the ground. Glance up at the masterpiece every once in a while. Well, let's look at the ground. But for that period of time, when you're you're washing, you know, I've been out to the store, so I better make sure I'm washed. Let's see which paths we want to follow here. We're gonna go around Concord, take it around. I think I actually have a plan here. Which side of the river we want to be on? That side. And you can probably get there from here, from there. But let's yeah, let's keep to the left. I actually have to use the map here. And let's see, we are, yeah, we do have the, uh, the explosive shotgun up. But interesting side note, when all that's going on and you're wearing a mask and you're washing every time you come in as if you're covered in cesium. Not one of my guys. Let's see if we can... I definitely don't want to go into town. Follow the road to the outskirts. Guess what you don't feel like playing? I mean, I've talked to some people who said they felt like playing Fallout even more. Um, but that wasn't my experience on the, on the matter, really. I had no taste for this. And it's just coming back to me a little bit now, partially because I'm, you know, this is something I can do without a lot of editing, because that's kind of the point, is not to edit this, it's to show you the full walk. There's the road. I'm trying to see if, you know, with this extremely high level character and an explosive shotgun, how hard would it be to you actually... Must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. Not after I nuked him. Um, it's it's going to kind of be... Uh, let's see, where are we going now? We could follow this road down here and stop at the starlight. We could follow across to Bedford Station and then... Well, you know, it's, looks like this route might be a little bit better. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go... Let's take this fork. But yeah, I had no real desire to try and play a game about kind of an apocalyptic nightmare. When it was feeling very apocalyptic. Now, when all this started out, you have to realize, they, they really led you to believe, if you got this, you were screwed. And some people, you know, some people are. I mean, it's, there's no question about that. And then they lead you to believe that you might get it and not know it. Which, I don't know, have I had it? I 
I mean, I did have a case of some kind of weird pneumonia back in September, but that was too early in the timeline. <coughs> Way too early in the timeline. No, that cough was not the wrong one. To my knowledge. It's only a 39 spot, but is there anything here we can... No, we're not really carrying... We're carrying some things that we may need, but we're not really... Anything to wait here? Not that it's going to matter. You know, it's overburdened is overburdened. There's no like, measure of overburdened. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? <laughs> Isn't that something? But well, we could use a weight bench and get our strength up. Now, I've only known a couple people who uh, who have you know, gotten only one really confirmed, one possible and one confirmed. She says she's still messed up by it weeks later, even though she's technically over it. I don't know if you can hear me in my voice doing the air quotes there, but... So, it's, it's certainly a dangerous uh, virus. But it's, it's not nearly as prevalent, and apparently not nearly as universally dangerous as they... Why is that going completely through my chest? Why don't you rack that up, son? We just want to move on. Okay, boost to strength. But I'm still encumbered. Let's check uh, our path again. We want to keep moving in that this general direction. So after a while, it starts to feel less apocalyptic starts to feel it can level up I don't know what to do with it is there anything there we can do to help our current cause take less radiation that would be useful I they don't have that already. Ah. Oh, action boy. This is perfect for what we need. Let's just keep doing that. That meets the current meet needs here. 25% faster will help. Action boy, am I going the right way? Yeah. We want to stick to this side of things. What's that? Up, my peeps. Now, usually you end up around a checkpoint. I don't think I've ever seen this checkpoint before. The general's here. Hello. Oh, yes, I have. This is the one over by. Uh... This site belongs to the Minutemen. Right. Okay. Yeah. Over by Covenant. All right. We're gonna, we're not going to go by Covenant. Covenant's a messed up place. We can follow the major roadway here, I think. This is going to take us right into Mystic Pines. I don't know if we want to do that. Oh, we have to do something, right? 
You're going to go through some things in life here. Yeah. Shooting some things and... This is going to happen. So now we're into the grand argument. The grand argument of, you know, well, exactly how serious is this pandemic? Believe it or not, I'm not really looking to to mix it up too much or something just got nuked. Yeah. <laughs> One of my robots just nuked something. Where is that coming from? I may have detected a new Okay. Shabum. Let's loot this guy. We're already overloaded, so why not, right? Why not? Who an expert safe to unlock. Sweet. Camera, cryo mine. Oh, these are nice. A stealth boy. Yep. Can we get anything out of that? Sure, a fuse. Anybody out here? Hello? How much you got left in you? I got lots. How about you? I got a synth girl whacking you with a freaking radioactive hammer. Did, we kill, did I kill this? No, she killed that. Now where is she? Hey Carrie, I know you're taking care of business. There she is. You all kinds of stuff on there. Did she just beat somebody down? Why is everything so dangerous up here? A beer? Okay, is he up there? Is that the story? Someone's shooting me. I can't even see from where. Hey, How do we get up there? Aha. Uh -huh. Pretty crappy existence you have here. But we'll leave you naked and alone. It is the tradition of the wasteland, you know? Mintas, uh, good. I'm sure I'm, I'm missing out on some things here because Curry has definitely beaten some of these guys down, but their corpses are not anywhere obvious. There you go. Feral Ghoul Roamer, that's uh, that's probably something they killed. Ooh, Nuka Girl posted there. And Nuka Girl walking with me. Alright, now let's we need to regain our bearings here. We do we wanna go back the way we came. We do not want to go. We uh, work our way this way. Let's go straight through this way, and then... See, can we get through this side? Is there anything in here worth checking out? It's just wrecked ruins and ruined wreckage. But it does shortcut us to where the big road is, again. Are we kind of on the right path? Well, this will take us... I think we're going to have to go here. Because we absolutely keep going straight and then get across the, the water that way. I don't know of any way. There, is there a, a way up to the, the top of there? Isn't this where we uh, dropped off the kid with the...
who was in the, the fridge, the kid in the fridge. Any of it. Working our way across here. So now there's this huge argument. No one really has an answer to it. How dangerous is how dangerous is COVID? If we all go back to living normally, what's going to happen? I mean, I wear my mask. I follow the rules. I'm not. I'm not with people say, ah, mask means that they're subverting your freedom. I have right. so much data on the world before the atom bombs. I fear I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. Yeah, you can walk on the dry part. Uh, I, I feel like, I mean, for instance, right now, like, I think there's like 800 or 900 new cases in Pennsylvania. This would get us on top of the road, but not for any useful amount of time, right? Well, at least we can get the lay of the land. We can't get across that way there. Oh, I've been up here before. We'll Looted up. I mean, this is, yeah, we're facing the wrong way there. This is the way we want to go, and that's not really passable. I'm doing this without. Yeah. Benefit of a. Um, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh. Okay, we need. To use one of our 10,000 stim packs here. Oh, 1,500. Okay. We're healthy again. We can move on. I think we can follow along. This all looks bad. Someone live here? Kind of. Tunk, 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 tunk. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! What the heck happened? Okay, so something happened <laughs> with one of my uh, caravans. Are they going in the direction they need to go in? Where are we? This looks familiar too. The map. The Taffington Boathouse is right up here. We, it might not be an unwise thing. To head up to Taffington Boathouse, cut across. Take this path around here. I, I'm kind of a little bit on the inside here. Let's let's uh, work our way up to Taffington Boathouse. We can dump off some of the junk. Not that that will give us. And here we are. Look, not that far at all. So I'm saying, I wear my mask. I mean, I do all the things you're supposed to do, but not because, like, I feel like I'm afraid of, uh, of someone yelling at me, or you know, or the government getting down on me. I mean, it's just a matter of whatever's Looks like. But we don't want to drink, but we do want to take that. And I don't have to worry about being underwater because I do have the aqua boy perk, so there's some proboscis assistance.
I mean, there, there's all kinds of arguments. Well, if you're wearing a mask, that means you think that you might be sick because they told us you don't know. Maybe you could be sick. And uh, well, that means you should be staying home. What an unreasonable argument. But then, how do you function? So, you know, the... So you wear a mask and try to be as considerate as possible. Yes. Store all junk here for the... T I don't know, because I should really be picking up junk. I should be taking the junk that they have generated so that they can continue to generate junk makes my life a little bit more difficult, but still. I was 211 to something. I don't know what. But again, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're one pound overburdened or a thousand pounds overburdened. Now, we get back out here on the road. Which way am I going? We could... If we just cut straight across. I mean, the least panicked viewpoint, and I'd like to think this is the least panicked viewpoint because it's the one that I have, is that you wear the mask because it might provide some benefit. Either I'm going to stop potentially some kind of virus from coming into my system, or even though it's probably a low probability. And, you know, it's just a cloth mask. Or I could prevent someone from getting with some other kind of virus that I may have. Even though, again, the low probability, probably. What is it? Oh, we have to shoot some people here, don't we? <laughs> Anybody close? Taking a lot of damage. Keeping your hands. So many a radioactive gland. I don't know what a radioactive gland is. Hey, to decrease your life expectancy. <laughs> Hello, Super Mutant Dude. I'm an explosive shotgun. Let me in. Oh, look. You get him. Let's get him. Right. Let's beat him right down. Oh, I, I had, you weren't killing him fast enough that he was shooting. So I had to. Stalker's Radium Rifle. If you are not in combat, increases VAT accuracy, but costs more AP. Okay. And Stimpecurity. I am feeling much better. Okay, so... Yuck. Alright, bearings. Where are we going? This way. Okay, we follow the road this way. Past some people I should have killed already. I didn't know. Yeah, well, we don't really need a name. Well, they're legendary. I saw a dog. I did see a dog.
Oh, there we are. A super legendary in your pants and clothes. Oh, yeah. That's not the... That's a legend. We didn't get much from him. That was totally just a point. We need to get some jet. So, check your drinking glasses, all kinds of... What the heck? Who's shooting me? Gary, could you, like, beat some people up over here? Look at that. That's that's too decorative. We can't disturb that. Let's... Oh, look at you! Aren't you nice? Shrek! There's a couple more up here. Is that the way we're going? Not really. Not really. We're going this way. We're going to follow this road. Which is blocked. I'm willing to leave him kind of heartbroken with all of his loss. Oh, hello! hello, hello. All of his lost friends, you know. And are we on the right path now? Yes. Let's just move on. We'll move on. It was unpleasant, but we can move on. Okay. What are we looking at here? That's a new location. We're going to want to swing to the left. Well, let's tag this location in, at least. We can come back at a future time. Irish pride. I hear buggies. I hear buggies. Irish pride industry shipyard. Okay, that's that's a, a thing for another day. We're on, we got to get a move on here. Let's gonna, we're going to head across to Country Crossings. So at least we have a, a nice base camp to explore that from. Yeah, there we are. You can see everything from... That's right. I know that's right across from Country Crossings. And in Country Crossing, there's always something interesting going on. <laughs> Robots and... There is something to having a lot of caravans that are heavily armed. Just roaming the, the landscape. Get me XP. I didn't do anything there. I'm just walking in the right place. I don't even know what they killed. Let's see, do you have, number one, any water? Do I have bottle caps? That's fine. We have junk. I'm going to take all your junk for the cause. Remember, junk is the overall goal. That's what we want to get so that we can build things. Not that I have very much left to build. I mean, to be perfectly honest. Shipments and stuff. I don't even know why that would be there, but we're going to run with it. There's aid. Is there any purified? There's a little bit of purified water. Oh, we can leave you a board, a charge, this. Some pipe rifles. Super Sledge, Tactical Shredding Mini Gun. Yeah, leave that there. Fair, fair trade. Yeah, it looks like the Mutant Carrot Crop is doing well. Oh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty dynamic crew coming through here. Y'all, usually this is a crossroads, so you see a lot of, a lot of stuff. It's not a bad place to stop. How are we doing health wise? Our health is back up. I forget, we have some perk that helps us out there. So 
So we're going to want to continue straight down this road, past the Mechanist Lair. Can we stop at the Mechanist Lair? No, it's too much of a pain in the buns to get into the Mechanist Lair. Manually. We're not going to say hello. My rat counter is spiking. We may want to move. Tragic Tory. For a minute I thought his... Uh, his armor disappeared, but no, he's just he's just a a more basic looking guy. That's a tra tragic Tory. Uh, I've got the window open, the fan going. So you, I, and the reason I left the fan identity confirmed is primarily so that you can kind of cover up the sounds of the road. If you, if, you hear, if you hear stuff going by, I realize that will be immersion breaking. Able to any data from these robots, sir. Identity confirmed. So we're heading towards the blimp. That does make it a little bit easier. And that's primarily because that is one of the things that I always do. On these water runs, I do stop at the Boston Airport long enough for everything to kind of to, to empty out whatever you know whatever miscellaneous junk it has created. So we're almost at our destination. So many robots moving their way about. Some of them need to be repaired. Who's that one that needs to be repaired? Don't worry. I have no problems Guns and Roses. Okay, that was a pink one. For the roses. I thought red would work too, wouldn't it? We have a pink rose. Let's go. We will redo them as a red. AP's almost gone. But I tell you what. Um, I'm not really agonizing over the AP all that much. It's not till I get to these stairs that I finally get entire tired. Craft Guns and Roses. Okay. A special mod that we don't. He doesn't need one. So nobody needs one. So head. Guns, let's see. I, I usually uh, default to a, like a robo brain. Head, head armor. Bonus damage to Mesmatron attack. Really good. Looks like I already had one. We could do this up as a full up robo brain. Tank kind of thing. If I do the uh, the sentry torso, then he can be extra beefy and huge. And We're doing guns, not lasers. So we're going to do hydraulic frame all around. Shoulder slot. I put a nuke launcher, does that? I'm trying to think what we're working. Guns and the Is the fat man really, you know, fitting for a gun build? Or just a just cluster bombs? Strangely enough, it's like, well, the ac is that accuracy? Is that just, uh, let's just let's just do left shoulder launcher. <laughs> it's Guns and Roses. They should have a chance to frenzy somebody.
Yeah, let's have him heal. Right. Left arm. With big beefy arms. See, do we want the gun on this arm? Yeah, we'll do the gun on that. The left arm. Left unstable explosive minigun. Yes. Right arm, obviously, go big and beefy. Make it. Wicked plate. Improved damage resistance, serrated plate. That looks more heavy metal. Skull mace? Makes it harder to ram. Skull may seem like a problem. <laughs> Legs. Exceptional movement speed. We can't float him around. Superior movement speed. Oh, it looked like he missed the leg there. Okay. Uh, we had this. So we can experiment here. Better movement speed and carrying capacity. So he, he loses his carrying capacity, but he's got a cow. Waste armor. We're going hydraulic here. Melee target bleed. Let's, let's, let's make him give him one longer leg. Voice and paint. Paint, we need paint. It's a rose. I think we're done. So there he goes. Guns and roses. Not a lot of, not a lot of range on that melee. Punch in the face with a But we've recharged our AP. Is anything still in there? No, it's empty. Interesting. Alright, so now we technically need. How do you clear the marker? Maybe if you place another marker. I think you have to clear one, don't you? That's always been a problem, is how do you clear the stupid marker? Okay, I'm out. Now, which way to... Where is our marker? There it is. Identity confirmed. I'm not too worried about that build staying anywhere. He'll lose all his parts randomly because of some strange reset. Oh, my systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this problem as it is. Now, Hagden Beach is obviously right over there. I think we can 
I think we can swim for it successfully. We better, pr you know, practice swimming for it successfully. Oh, um, let's see. Do we, do we want to hit the... How far off are we from the castle? Castle's all the way over here. Hmm. That's going to be a challenge for another day. But let's, 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 uh... Let's cut across here. And then maybe cut across the bridge. Here, East City Downs. Tin Man! Ah, oh, it's one of the ones, yeah, you have to... Kind of eventually off them because they kept kiting people into the... Into the... Into my settlement. Monitoring the Commonwealth is proving to be quite rewarding. What a fascinating place. Well, we drop off some things you here. No. People have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. You've got plenty of beds. Stop it. Well, I can show you that. My apparel. There's a yellow trench coat here that we can drop off. Any weapons? No. So it's really just a matter of collecting the purified water. Do we want to call this a day here? I was in mid-conversation. That's kind of a thing. Let's at least get back onto the mainland. How's that sound? We'll cut across a couple rivers here. That, that should I'm be any doctor. It's around these days. Let me take a look at you. Oh, that's interesting. Hear anything, Doc? Nothing that would interest you. Now, let's talk about you and your health. Could use some supplies, actually. All right, but go easy on the camps. And we'll take all your guns. Strange, I hardly ever run into anybody out here, but hey, this is cool. And I'm going to give you something that I know you need. Everybody needs it. You need lots of it. Twenty that'll work. Confirm trade. So I was just saying, so I'm wearing my mask all the time because not because I'm terribly afraid of really anyone's opinion or the government mandate, but because it might be a practical thing and we really don't know, who really knows what the full impact of this is yet and if it will come back in strength. On the flip side, you look at the stats in my county, I think in the last couple of days we've had like, what, six people or something as opposed to the 800 that, you know, per day and the, it's, it's not prevalent anymore. It's just not coming up. Now, is that because everybody's wearing masks or because it's kind of just followed the, uh, followed the natural, uh, oh, this isn't good. Okay, well, that worked. The natural progression of the disease, it's hard to say. Now, for the people saying they refuse to wear a mask because it's their right not to wear a mask. Well, I mean, there's a certain emotional component of, that's going there, and, you know, there is uh, an element of, you want that in American society. You want a certain amount of that feeling of, you can't tell me what to do. America needs that. That's one of the basic premises of being an American, is you can't tell me what to do. And 
look, you can't tell me what to do either. I have to, I have to evaluate what your argument is and then decide whether or not I think it has value. And that's what I've done, and that's why I wear a mask. Other people have looked at it and said, you know, there were other studies that said that wearing a mask is bad for you, that wearing a mask will cause you to, to suck up more germs, than not only the COVID type. <laughs> you slappy hand on that one. Sergeant Oddball, okay. There's a lot of people who have evaluated and said, number one, I don't see the value of this, and number two, I feel like it's an impingement on my freedom, so ergo, and thus far, I'm not going to do it. Now, I, I don't agree with that opinion, but I think that you have the right to have it. And if you see, if you're a person who is a mask-believing person, and you see someone who's not wearing a mask, this is very clearly... Uh, someone you could just stay the heck away from. To a rad stag. Grab him! Smack him down. I believe you are supposed to file a police report, yes? No, and not with a deer. A couple of them as we go through here. Remember, our goal is the castle. So now we want to place a marker here. We could swim there. Would that be considered cheating? Or should we try and go through... At least take a walk over to the Constitution and get her opinion. Meet tonight! I have a lot of friends on both sides of this. I mean, I know there's some people who are looking at like this is completely political at this point. That this I hear something! I guess you would. But not anymore. There's some nuclear material to be gained up there. Okay, you want to go smack him down? I feel bad about shooting him before, so I'm just going to smack this guy down. Brute down. Smack him. You just keep smacking him. Where's the nuclear material? It just smack him down. Smack him. He needs a smacking. That's a tough bug. Looks like Mutant fly, mutant, mutant. Do -do -do -do. Which way are we going? Behind us. We should really be going this way. What the hell hit there? Car blew up. Are we really going, yeah, towards. Now, what I think isn't useful. Beat him down. I do not see them anymore. Uh, direction this way. Well, I don't think it's useful. For instance, let's say you have someone who really feels like the whole purpose of these lockdowns and these mandates are to say, we can tell you what to do. This is all just a test to see what you're. How, how, um, malleable you are and how 
easily controlled you are. Whoa! What was that? What just ran around me like a light speed? The usefulness is that you, you you don't want you don't want a nation that doesn't have some of that. You you want people willing to resist. Secondary defenses. Your actions result in injury. Hostile barricade close proximity. The major veteran is not going to survive this. I hear someone vacuuming or something. There's something in the background here. And so, we get, we're starting to get ambient noise issues here. Well, that's something I didn't expect. <laughs> hey, he's coming for me now. And there is a use, but you're, there also, you do need to have some people have the attitude of, look, let's lock things down and try and get rid of this as quickly as possible. And uh, it's not a matter of one or the other. I think if, if you have, you don't want to, what's the best way I'm looking way to put in this? You don't want ever government to get comfortable. You don't want them to get to the point where they feel like they can just tell you, here, wear a funny hat. I mean, that is the thing. Oh, this is just gross. You. We're close enough to we can almost smell the castle, so let's just avoid some headaches here. And I'm doing this in one cut, so I can't... What the heck is shooting at? Oh, Raider's fine. So what I'm saying, I think, I think, although these are completely polar opposite opinions, either there's one that we, you can't do anything, you have to stay home, you have to, you have to wear masks, you have to wear full armor body suits, and there's a, there's a certain amount of that that's based in fear, and a reasonable fear, and then you've got the people who feel like you, ca you can't wear masks because then you're going to lose all your freedoms, and that's based in fear. And perhaps a certain reasonable fear there as well. That's an interesting little event. <laughs> and what I would usually preach is not fear. You know? Do what's reasonable, you know, if, if, you know, if you're concerned about the politics today, well then make sure you vote. I also agree that no one should be able, really, really be able to force you to wear anything, but you should choose to do that of your own volition if you, if, you, if it makes sense to you. Then it can, they're complicated times. I get up here. Come on. Maybe you can't. Okay, we need to find a, a place to approach the. Uh... Hey, Kiri. Here we go. I guess we have some good imagery here. Here we have the Pridolin. It's the symbol of do as you're told. We know what's best. Here you have the castle. It's the symbol of we know how best to run our lives. Now it doesn't mean that both can't come to the same conclusion that maybe saying wearing masks is a good idea. And just because you wear a mask doesn't mean that A, you're terrified, or B, that you're terrified. Like you're not, you're not afraid. You know, 
You can be terrified of government control and refuse to wear a mask. You can be... Yeah. Alright, which way am I even going here? There's the government control. These are those people. You can be terrified of getting the disease and inside with those people. But you don't have to be terrified, is what I'm saying. All right, let's get through this. I'm going to wear my mask when I go out. And stuff's going to freaking explode. What the hell is that? <laughs> Someone shot down the darned, uh... Uh, they shot, they shot down the, 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 whatchamacallit, the whirly bird. What the hell do you even call those? So that must have been the pilot. That truck could explode. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, here we go. I'm doing this in one cut. And for whatever reason, we're vacuuming today. So we're going to go along. Can I still sneak through here? Sneak through, sneak through. Yes, you can. It's a path through. That's why there's all these guns. I don't know. Am I making any sense? Not a lot of this. You, you have to realize a lot of this period of time. And, and this, I'm not planning on posting this till October. This is really a historical look at things. I mean, it's all going to be nearly. Well, it's going to be different, probably. I don't know if we're going to be in the middle of the mill of uh, remembering what this was all about and it all being over or if we're going to be in the middle of another wave is one side going to be obviously the right side I don't know and here's the real trick I mean it really could be a situation where yes the masks are an experiment to see how can you know controllable people are and yes you might need to wear them to stay alive so I mean, it's it's a very um it's a very strange situation what if everybody's right that's kind of a problem so how do you act? I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to act of my own volition. I'm, not, I'm going to wear a mask when I think I need to wear a mask, not wear a mask when I don't think I need to wear a mask. If I'm around people, try to be considerate until they can, they, you know, there, there's no point in, in, in playing into whatever their fears are. And if someone wants to say to me, hey, you're wearing a mask, you're, you know, part of the, you know, you're one of the controlled masses, you're a sheep. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm a sheep without a cough, you know, I, I'm not going to worry about that too much. You know, if push comes to show, it's not like, you know, I'm going to agree with whatever I'm told. You know? Hey, you're wearing a mask, therefore you think abortion's okay. No, 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 we're not. I'm not going to follow along on a lot of things. There, you know, I'm still going to, I'm still keeping uh, my wits about me here. I mean, that's what you have to do. You have to keep your wits about you. Nicely done, Carrie. This might be a good time to boost that strength before we tackle the next leg. These are trying times. And, uh, you know, hopefully I've been at least somewhat interesting as we just walk around the Commonwealth. I guess I'm trying to just kind of record the, all the different feelings that are going on right now. Because, I mean, obviously this, I'm not going to influence anything. But, I mean... You got people who are very afraid for of different things in for different reasons. You know. Some are afraid of losing their life, some are afraid of losing their liberty in the pursuit of happiness. And it's it's uh, I guess a very intensely American time. We're gonna have to see how it all shakes out. And I'm I'm just trying to say I understand all viewpoints in this, and it's a it's a matter of I don't know we're all in this together whatever our opinions are let's just try to let's not be too aggressive with each other here you know as far as the COVID's concerned as far as the riots are concerned the riots that's being driven by strictly political things that's that's taking advantage of the situation that's you've got a population that is all torqued up and afraid and angry over the fact that. Things are not well. And let's leverage that. And then that's where you get the riots from. That's all I'm convinced of. Much simpler thing. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I think this is enough video. I think I think this is enough video 
for one day. We're not too far away from our goal here. I mean, we're already at the castle. We'll pick up the water here. We swim across the Spectacle Island. May make the cut back to the Warwick Homestead. Work our way back up then to Diamond City to pick up all the junk. We're going to get some more junk over here. Then we just got to work our way all the way back. Uh, there's, there's more video to come. Do I have a, did I get another perk? Did I level? No. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.